welcome back to my channel Gabba Vedic. So today I have a bit of a complaint and you'll see that from the title of the video. If you've watched my channel for a while you know that I use this AccuCheck mobile meter and I love this meter because everything is built into one. There's a cassette that goes in the back so I'll show you now. You just turn it on. The blood sugar finger prick is in here so you prick your finger, blood comes out and then you put it on the test strip and then it's doing the test and you can change the lancet here to the next one so there's three left and then it gives you your blood sugar reading and i've had this for years a very very long time but i was very sad to find out recently that roach who make these accucheck meters are no longer making them and i think the most disappointing thing was the way that i found out so this meter is getting a bit slow it's starting to not work sometimes i try to turn it on and just doesn't turn on i've changed the batteries and all that and nothing works so usually when a meter breaks down you have a serial number on your meter on the back and you can contact the company and ask them to send you a new one so i did that i went rang them up went through all of their questions answered everything from the technical team you know waiting on hold for ages i got through all of the questions they were like okay your meter is not working and then they told me that they discontinued it and i think the most disappointing thing was first of all i went through the whole entire phone call conversation about getting a new meter only to find out at the very end that they're not making it anymore and also i didn't see this advertised like anywhere nowhere on any of the diabetes federation but also even on roach's own page or instagram i had a look and there was nothing about it being discontinued let me know in the comments if you've heard anything but i just either i missed out completely or there was nothing so i emailed roach just to confirm it and here's the email that they sent back so as of june 2022 this monitor the accucheck mobile is being discontinued which means that you can't get it anymore now you can see in the email they say you can still get the mobile cassettes so you can still use this if you have one until the cassettes don't be made anymore but also if you're like me and your monitor's breaking down then you're just at a loss and i asked them to check if there was any you know spare stocks just Still around before they got rid of them but they're gone already so i'm very disappointed because i really really love this monitor and it's gone and also just the way i found out like i didn't see it anywhere if i'd known as of june 22 i would have went and ordered one before because it lasts a few years so i am very sad that my monitor has been discontinued but they have said to me you can have the new monitor so this is it here. They did send it to me and they said this is the new monitor that's replacing this. So we're going to go ahead and open it today and test it out as well. So yeah, I hope you like this video. A bit of a rant video because I'm just very, very sad that this is gone. And we'll try out this new meter today and see how it goes. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you do here. Otherwise, let's go and open this new monitor and see how it compares to the AccuCheck Mobile. Okay, they did send it really quickly as well. I will give them that. So here's how we're looking. And I guess this is it. The AccuCheck Instant. So it looks modern enough. And I think it joins with this My Sugar app, which I do have, but I never use. So it should have some test strips in it, I really hope. Let's go ahead and open it and give it a test. This box looks very small. Go on ahead and open it. Let's see what we get. Okay, okay, that's a lancet, a lancet. User guide, manual. Okay, a case for the monitor. Okay, so I've taken everything out of the box. Here's the monitor. Oh God, I'm not happy we're using drums. I hated using them. I'm sorry if anyone does use these drums, but I just find them so flimsy. Finger pricker is looking kind of like the one I already have. Let's take the monitor out. Uh, it looks, I don't know, it looks very strange. It looks very like futuristic or something. All right, I'm gonna go have a quick read of the manual and figure this out. Starting with this, first thing it says set the time and date and then set up the finger pricker. So I'm gonna turn on this new AccuCheck instant monitor strange looking obviously there's a bit that you can connect it up to here another part here and two ports here i'm just trying to figure out how to turn the thing on right. oh it did turn on okay so i pressed this button here at the side can't really see it's very hard to see but there's a black button there and i'm in the setup mode the up and down buttons for the setup mode are here on the side okay so you can see if i press these we changed the hour so i think i press 11 then i hold it and it goes on to the next one. 
So time is 11.39. Hold that, it goes on here. It is the 23rd of September. And uh, yes, it's 2022. Okay, so let's see what this means. I think that just means it's ready to do a test. So let's set up our finger pricker which should be easy enough to do. So in one of these is gonna be a lancet. This is the Fast Clicks lancet. This is the one I already use. So it's the exact same as what's in the AccuCheck mobile cassette. So like it's the exact same as what goes in here. So I think I'm very familiar. I just open that up, pop in the lancet and then turn it back. So yeah, that's very very similar to the one i already have and you can see it's six so then we're going to change this here and it'll go down to five after we use it and then obviously these ones are for how strong you want it to do the finger prick so i'm going to go two and a half see how that goes all right so i've set it up and it's ready so then i'll see wash your hands if you're doing the blood glucose test Let's check the date on the container which is next year so we're fine by that honestly this is the part i hate i just hate this reminds me of something I had years ago and I just found that when I opened it, it just went all over the place. Like, it's just so flimsy. Here's how the test strip is looking. Interesting. I haven't seen one look like this ever. I'm assuming the green part is where it's testing. Okay, my meter has gone off, so I'm going to turn it on. Right, it's ready. So it says put the metallic end into here. Oh my god. This is what I mean about how flimsy. Right. Okay. Okay, so it came up, missed it there, but it came up loading symbol. This means ready for a drop of blood. In my experience, these things usually time out. So I have to be very quick. So I'm gonna, okay, nothing happened. Nothing has happened. <laughs> okay, I've definitely pricked my finger there. Got the blood. Want to put it on it there. All right. All right, okay. It went 4.7. It was very quiet, I don't know, it made no noise at all, right? For comparison, let's test it using my old monitor. Okay, 5.9, mm, I don't know, it's hard to know. This is newer, so is it more accurate? But this is what I usually use. Either way, not too far off a difference. So yeah, that's basically how to do your blood sugar. Literally nothing else left on here. I don't know, there's a whole user's manual as well if you wanted to find out more things but that's just the kind of quick guide obviously then you gotta you know take out the strip and throw it in your sharps box i should have mentioned as well like that was 4.7 so say for example when you get 5.8 you get a little arrow pointing to you're doing good or maybe down here you're going low or you're going high it says test range indicator yeah like you can see on here it would say red is low you're going high so obviously I've only been given a very small amount, I think 10 tests that I can use and this as well, but I do have the fast clicks that go into that. So I could do a few more blood sugars, but if I wanted to go ahead and use it, I'd have to get a new prescription for, you know, the test strips in this drum, which is a hassle because the diabetes care, like I said in my last video, has not been amazing here. So a bit of a stress. What I think of this, I like the size of this, you know, it's... A lot smaller compared to this and oh yeah we never actually um, this is looking a bit strange this is the case I guess it's actually not so bad here's the size comparison so you could fit it all into there like that let me know in the comments if you use things similar to this or if anyone has this AccuCheck instant and uses it and what they think of it I'm going to stick with my AccuCheck mobile for now until it breaks and doesn't work or they stop making mobile cassettes. Thoughts of this? Futuristic looking. After actually reading that box, there's a test strip ejector. So I think if you put your test strip in there, actually instead of pulling out like I did, you can press that and it will shoot out. Also, obviously you can connect it up to the My Sugar app, it's saying. Remembers everything up for 720, connects to the My Sugar app. I'm just giving it a quick test today. I think that's good, the indicators on the side, but like, Blue for high blood sugar is not really going to mean anything to me, if you know what I mean. Red for low, okay, yeah, you know you're going low, but I don't know. Also, it does say in here, you know, you can connect it to a PC or you can connect it wireless to, I guess, the My Sugar app or whatever you're using to store your data. 
because there's no actual wire in the box so it's all wireless as far as I can see but I haven't read that much into the manual I think I'm not convinced yet but I just wanted to show you what is the newest AccuCheck out there if you're in a situation like me that you won't be able to get this anymore when yours breaks this is the AccuCheck instant monitor um, I like the size of it I like that this is the same but I hate faffing around with strips and drums I hate it I just find it like you saw when I was trying to put in the strip it just falls I just find it so complicated especially when you're in a high blood sugar like or low blood sugar and you're shaking and trying to put the strip in and it doesn't work whereas you can literally just open the bottom of this and it works so yeah AccuCheck Instant looks okay. It does say it has some good things like the indicator. I'd say it's pretty accurate in terms of testing the blood sugar and the fact that it's wireless and you can connect it up to the different apps seems very good that you don't have to be inputting your data. But I'm not convinced and I'm still disappointed how I found out that they're not making my AccuCheck mobile anymore. That's very sad for me, but I have this now as a spare and I will keep it. I'm gonna put it back in the box, keep it until I have to use it, I guess. So I'll let you know whenever I do change to that. But yeah, that is the AccuCheck Instant. I hope you liked this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope no one is stuck like me and has no monitor anymore. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video.